Now that Florence sees what Fiona is capable of, Victoria takes the family to a training facility so that they can see how beneficial dogs can be for their owners. Okay, so I want to introduce you all. This is Lindsay with her dog, Carly. Take a bow. Good girl. <laughs> if you can tell a little bit more about the work that you do. At Canine Assistance, we train our dogs to help get a phone, go get help, open or close a door. They can go get you a bottle of water. I mean, <laughs> pretty simple things that can really improve your quality of living and make things easier for you. Florence, even though she's very capable in a lot of things, does find a few things difficult. And if Fiona can now help her instead of being a hindrance, that might help to form a relationship between them. So could you show us some of the things that Carly can do? I would love to. Carly, can you go get the medicine? Carly, get it. That's it. That's it. Up. That's it. Bring it here. Bring it here. Give. Yes, good girl. I had never seen a dog do the things that Carly did. I was very surprised, and I was very impressed. I would like to be able to help Fiona and train her on some basics. So we're going to start the process. Seeing some of the things that Carly demonstrated was, was amazing. It was nice to see. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I was thinking there's no way that Fiona can do some of those things. Victoria begins the long process of teaching a retrieval with a basic touch command. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the dumbbell from behind my back and I'm going to show it to her. And when she goes towards that object and touches it with her nose, she gets a treat. Good girl. I let her touch it with her nose. And then I take it behind my back again. Good girl. Touch. Good girl. Victoria repeats this process several times to get Fiona used to touching the dumbbell. OK, so now you can see that it's in her brain. After Fiona had learned to touch the dumbbell with her nose, I began to put the dumbbell in different positions so Fiona would have to travel further to get to it. Touch. Good girl. Okay, go. Touch. Yes, good girl. With Fiona used to the dumbbell, Victoria gets Todd and Jessica involved in the process. Touch. Good girl. Touch. Good girl. Now it's Florence's turn. Fiona can sense Florence really doesn't want to have anything much to do with her. So when Florence takes over the training, that's going to be hard to get Fiona to listen. OK, get her attention. Fiona, touch. OK, good girl. Good, beautiful. I have no doubt in my mind that life for my mother would be easier if Fiona could keep her company as well as help her out with small tasks around the house. OK. So that is enough for now. That's the first stages. Now we go to the next stage in a little while where she needs to be able to put her mouth over the dumbbell. OK? Good work. All right, let's go. Now I want to teach the second part of the retrieve. I'm going to get down on the floor with Fiona because I want to teach her to take things and then drop them. First of all, in order to get Fiona to become more mouthy, I played with lots of squeaky toys, which she loves. And that meant that she was getting used to actually grabbing different toys with her mouth. Take it. Good girl. Drop it. Take it. Good. I've exchanged it with another toy. Oh, what's that? What's that? Here. What's that? What's that? I then introduced the dumbbell. And as soon as I showed her the dumbbell, she put her mouth Take over it. the dumbbell. Good girl. Now I'm getting her to put her mouth around it. Could you just do one of those take-its? Fiona, take it. Take it. Good. Oh, good, girl. good girl. I was very excited during the training. It was just fascinating to watch Fiona actually doing it, and you could tell that she was understanding what she was doing. I would like you to teach this three times a day for five to ten minutes each time. OK. I want you to get to the point but she's actually put her mouth on the dumbbell and she's picking it up. Mm-hmm. No further than that. OK. I'm so impressed with the speed that Fiona's learning it. Teaching a retrieve to a dog does not happen overnight. Now I've got her to this stage, I hope that Jessica will continue the training that I've given her. <laughs>
What I'd like to do is train Fiona to contribute to Florence's day in some way. And fetching medicine bottles is a good thing, and I think it's something that Fiona could definitely do. Take it. Good. Good girl. Take it. Good girl. <laughs> Fiona has no problem remembering the take it command, so Victoria advances a little further. Go get it. Good. Bring it back. Bring it back. Good girl. Fiona already knows what go get it means because she's been used to that with having toys thrown for her. When Fiona comes back walking to me with the toy in her mouth, I say, bring it back. Go get it. Go get it. Bring back. Bring back. Yes. Yes. Oh. Good girl. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to get a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> For a dog to make such progress in such a short amount of time is nothing short of amazing. Bring it back. Bring it back. Come on. <gasps> yes. To see Fiona learn something and process it and move to the next stage of something to really see her pick up a task is very satisfying. Yes. <laughs>